For a field as niche as new classical music, I'm actually quite surprised how many high quality blogs there are out there. Now there are a few that I follow every single week, so today we're gonna dive into five of my favorite ones. Starting with number one, New Music Box. Now New Music Box is the media arm of New Music USA, which is a nonprofit organization based here in the, you guessed it, the good old US of A. Their mission is to support and amplify the sounds of tomorrow, by nurturing the creation, performance, and appreciation of new music for adventurous listeners in the United States and beyond. Now I have to say they're quite generous as an organization, doling out about $1 million in grants to artists each and every single year. It's wonderful. Now heading back to New Music Box, you'll notice that they have a ton of great articles and interviews that are constantly being posted. If you scroll down to the bottom of their website, you can filter them out depending on your mood. So for right now, let's try out what How To can offer us. Scrolling down, I see a couple I'm interested in checking out. Here's one about online score sales, which I've recently made a video about on my channel. And if you keep scrolling down, here's another fun one. Beyond the 88, a no fear beginner's guide to preparing the piano. And that's just the how to section. You can browse through their extensive list of interviews with composers and performers, as well as keeping up to date with the latest news in the new music field. My second blog recommendation is called I Care If You Listen, which is a play on Milton Babbitt's famous, well, maybe infamous article, Who Cares If You Listen from 1958. I don't even know what hip hop is, to be honest with you. I don't, do you understand hip hop? But what is all this scratching of records? Like New Music Box, I Care If You Listen is part of a large nonprofit organization called American Composers Forum, which serves a very similar purpose to New Music USA in advocating for the work of composers and performers of new music. Now, as you can probably tell, I Care If You Listen shares a lot of similarities with New Music Box. They both feature interviews and articles with composers and musicians working in the field. The one major difference I would say is I Care If You Listen features reviews of the newest new music albums, which you'd be very hard pressed to find if you're into this kind of music. This site also has a section called Playlist, which features recommendations curated from reputable artists in the field. For example, if you click on composer Sky McClay's playlist, you'll see a full list of recommendations that she makes with her own brief description of each of those pieces along with their recordings. My third piece of media for you to check out is quite different than these last two. Yes, 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 go on. It's called Van, an independent online music magazine funded by the Swiss bank Julius Baer. Now this one is much more broad in scope. It features a ton of articles, reviews, and playlists from basically every genre and time period of Western music, which you can browse by clicking the menu button on the top right of the home page. One opinion article I just recently read is called The Price of Luck, How Classicism Kills Creativity, which I think is a great entry point for this magazine and offers an illuminating background to how economic backgrounds affect artists drastically in their day-to-day -day lives. All right, we're gonna take a sharp turn right now and head over to a blog all about music preparation. This one is called Scoring Notes, and it's all about the latest trends, tips, and tricks as they relate to music notation. What I like about this blog is it's helpful for basically everyone, whether you use Dorico, Sibelius, Finale, or MuseScore. A cool thing they do is demonstrate engraving tips that you probably won't find anywhere else. For example, here's an article demonstrating what point sizes are, which in all honesty, I know nothing about. What is the meaning of this? What kind of trick have you played on? Stop it. And here's another one about keyboard shortcuts in Dorico and Sibelius, and how to make your own for any specific tasks you may want to do. Now before I share this final blog, I hope you consider giving a thumbs up for this video. Believe it or not, it helps this video get out to more people like us that would find these sites useful. Yes, I understand, yes, yes. And that's all. No, no, not for the real fire. Now this last site is probably the most obscure, but also one of the more fun ones out there. It's radio announcer Bruce Duffy's extensive series of interviews that he's conducted with some of the most notable composers and musicians ever since the 1980s. Now even though arguably this is more of a archive rather than a blog site, I decided to include it anyway because I feel like Bruce Duffy's interview style is really quite on point as well as entertaining at the same time. Many composers he's interviewed include legends like Joan Tower, Elliot Carter, Lou Harrison, Philip Glass, who I met on the subway by the way, just saying, just saying, 
and of course loads and loads of other composers and musicians. Now since you've reached the end of this video, you might like this one about free classical music venues in New York City. Or if you don't live there, here's another recent upload that you can check out. Happy reading and take care.